Hey guys, it is Friday. It's about noon right now, and yeah, I'm uh, gonna go do some Uber, Pet and Rainbow. Well, I guess I actually didn't go online right away. Wanted to uh, test out the bike. Yeah, worked on it last night. It was hot in my apartment, so I did it all naked. That's part of why I didn't want to film it, but yeah. I uh, pretty much just took the wheel off and then put it everything back on, but this time tighter. I feel like uh, that's that's where I mess up sometimes is I don't tighten the things down enough. But uh, you know I'm I'm worried because you know you over tighten a thing it'll break, you under tighten a thing it'll break. So uh, it's a whole thing, but I tightened everything back up and had to bend the derailleur hanger back into the correct spot but anyways everything seems like it's nice again it's not like doing any weird jiggling or whatever and everything sounded fine so went back to the backyard and went online to wait for my first uber delivery of the day which came i don't know maybe like 10 minutes or so so had some uh time to hang out with rainbow Give him some good old pets. Might be the last day that I see Rainbow. And uh, we're off, I guess. <laughs> had to give Rainbow a last head scratch before I headed out. But yeah, my first pickup was from a ramen place. And I was like, yep, ramenishin. And actually, it wasn't that place. It was actually Tondu Ramen, the complete opposite direction that I went. Hey, yeah, I should have double checked that better. But anyways, got that. Plus a Cindy pickup. And uh, yeah, drop this off along Jarvis. And then the other one, Massey Tower. Pretty classic. Now I'm picking up from the McDonald's in the Eaton Center. Which is always a bit of a pain, but it was like an $8 one, so whatever. And I saw the Eaton Center Paladin Man again. I wonder what his deal is. I guess he's just walking around the eating center. And yeah, that McDonald's uh, chopped that off pretty close by. Hong Sing and Pokey guys for my next two deliveries. Some back to backs to Robarts and this uh, Rotman School of Management or whatever. After that, though, I had a bit of a lull. I guess it wasn't that much. Maybe like five minutes so I was headed home. It's pretty hot, so I almost didn't take it, but I eh, forget. It was like 15 bucks, so. Delivering some roti, as well as uh, some odd burger. Had a good look at the bike lane stuff that they're doing. Seems like they're actually pouring some cement in uh, some of the more west side of the bike lanes. Nice. And uh, yeah, I went and dropped those off in like Parkdale area. This person's like, we'll increase our tip after the delivery. Which you know what? They actually might have done that. Cause it was $2 higher than the estimate, so. You know, it's just, I feel like when people will say that they're gonna tip in the thing, there's a good chance that that means they're not gonna tip at all, but. Anyways, looked at some uh, street stuff convertible an old one as well as some more street junk hmm. all trash I decided I'd go over to McDonald's and get uh, ice cream I had a coupon thing through the app and uh, this is a one dollar ice cream cone and I got confused by the machine I was like all right I added the thing and then it's like telling me to select a thing which I assume is like selected from the coupon but I guess I just added two ice creams when I went to review it it only showed as one ice cream so I was kind of confused and I paid two dollars for two ice creams I guess so the coupon worked but I only meant to get one ice cream <sighs> I figured if I uh, just went outside, I could probably find someone who would just like want a free ice cream, but 
I didn't see anyone who I assumed would be into ice cream, and like, it immediately started to melt. Like, my hands are already sticky, and I figured, well, I gotta just eat these ice creams, so. I just like inhaled two of these ice creams. You can see all those drips. That's from me holding the ice cream and like it just melting. My hands were so sticky. Oh, but I, you know, I used to wash them and wash my hands. And then again on my way home, I passed by this metro and I got a grocery request. I kind of like doing the groceries. It's like, you know, you're walking around looking for these weird things that people want. Stuff that I would normally never get, like deli soup, but they wanted it. So, yeah, I went and dropped that off, and then I kind of just circled back around the, the block and headed back up towards the metro. And I figured I'd uh, just hang out in the park across the street from the metro, and yeah, I'll wait until I get another grocery delivery. Supposed to get an extra $35 if you do three, three grocery deliveries this month. And yeah, I hung out here for like an hour and didn't get any requests, so that kind of sucked. And uh, I figured instead of just wasting my time waiting for a grocery order that's never going to come, I'd just go home. But I made like 61 bucks, so that's something. And, uh, yeah. What a day, guys. Yeah, Rainbow's still out back here, so gave him a couple pets. Yeah. Sad. However, I uh, texted my neighbor and asked if she wanted this blanket that's pretty much Rainbow's blanket. And it turns out that uh, she has like a month overlap with this apartment and her new apartment, so it might actually not be the last we see of Rainbow. So who knows, maybe we'll see him again. I think she did take the blanket. I kind of left it on the dryer for her, so yeah. Good old Rainbow. But that's kind of it for the day. After this I went and ate dinner and played video games. Later.